Matty Blunt Tracking. Today we will be counting down our top four picks for day fishing venues in the West Rand. Are you a fan of our videos? Subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of our latest videos. Welcome to Gone Tracking. Today we will show you fishing venues open for day visitors in the West Rand. Check out the description below or our website for links to the venues and safe pins on Google Maps. Number four. Gnu Valley Fly Fishing Gnu is a family friendly venue with entertainment for the kids when the fishing is slow which includes green lawns, a pool and various play gyms. This venue also caters for parties with an indoor play area. Gnu sports two dams with crystal clear water. The carp dam allows conventional fishing with no boilies allowed while the second dam has long walkways for sight fishing your trophy bass. You may book overnight stays next to the water or in a furnished chalet for those creature comforts. Number three, Willow Waters. We're going to have a chat about the venue. We've actually come here a few times. I like the place. It's very basic. It has, I think, six or seven dams. Um, very small, very niche. The lower dam, which is slightly larger than the rest, has at least an eight kilo uh, carp in there. I saw them catch it earlier in the week. But um, all of these are now stocked with bass. The venue was originally a bass venue, and they slowly moved to LARP here um, in. At the smaller pond, literally next to this one, I've also landed on a nice big grass carp. I'm going to have a look to see if I can find that picture and I'll load it onto the video. What I really like about this is if you look, the one just came back. He was missing for a while. Why? Because he went to walk to another dam, took his bass rod, left his carp stuff in, and he took a walk. Um, both my kids have had birthday parties here where they actually asked, please can we come here, we corner off a venue, and we had a braai. Our friends came and enjoyed the day. So, if you like it, you can check out the site. Link is down below. Uh, has a wedding venue has uh, bathroom facilities, it's relatively cheap for the day, you just drive in and enjoy, there are bras everywhere, come have fun, enjoy the spot. Bassa Trout Farm is a wonderful place to enjoy fishing and nature with your family and pets. It is mostly known for the specimen fish it produces in the specimen dam with a current record carp over 21 kilograms. However, you can fish with different species and conventional fishing is welcomed in the other dams on the property. You can also picnic and camp next to the river or the mountain where you can relax under the trees and grass. The farm is a small shop that sells basic items for fishing supplies such as feed packs and boilies. You can also use the loose standing briars to cook your catch or bring your own food. The farm has some rules of fishing such as using barbless hooks, micro barbs only, not bringing raw minis, raw peanuts and tiger nuts. Check their website for more details. If you are looking for a fun and relaxing day out with your loved ones, Bastard Trout Farm should be top of your list. Brookwood Trout Farm. Brookwood is an old favourite of ours. Um, it is where I learned to fly fish. It is actually where Luan uh, learned to fish originally. We often visit both winter and summer. It's absolutely beautiful and my favorite part is if you're there early in the morning amongst listening to the river the the seeing the mist and the fog you can also hear the lions waking up and asking for their food it is a quite an experience to go there uh, traditionally it was a fly fishing venue with uh, two bottom dams open for general fishing now they've opened it up in 2023 where during the summer the top dams also allow conventional fishing uh, stocked with a large carp and then back in winter when it's trout fishing time again uh, we convert that back into a trout uh, fly fishing venue it is it's a beautiful place lots of places to explore the kids enjoy running around a small venue that you can book facilities are clean and you can even book to stay overnight it is definitely one of my favorites still maybe a bit of uh, legacy and history there but it's, it's a place that i think should be visited at least once and i hope you and the kids enjoy it so uh, if you're in the neighborhood of crom dry please come support brookwood it's such a such a beautiful place still one of my favorite taylor yeah did you have fun yes okay cool you tired no not tired yet mm. okay cool fishing full of energy 
let's go home. See you guys next time. Please remember to subscribe, like the video, and we'll see you next time on our travels. Cheers for now. Bye. Saying, ooh